Our overall record at home to Chelsea in the league, this is just league games, not cup games, played 77, won 36, drawn 17 and lost 24. Yeah, so they've got a good record at our place uh, with respect. They've probably got a better record at our place than we've got at theirs. Um, I don't know offhand, don't know off the top of my head, but I think they probably have. But uh, we're increasing that every every time we play at the moment with our cracking team, of course. We scored 114 goals and they've scored 85 goals. So we've got a little bit of uh, leeway there. Of course, previously we played them in the EFL, of course, uh, back in November, didn't we? Uh, back a 2-0 win, of course, in, in the Carabao, the old Carabao Cup. Uh, and this time... The last time we played in the league was the 15th of January 2022, a 12.30pm kickoff. It was match day 22. We were top on 53 points and they were second on 43 points. So uh, probably a few less than they've got now, but uh, we'll not go on about that. Edison, Walker, Stones, Laporte, Cancelo, Rodri, Silva, Bernardo, Grealish, KDB, Phil Foden, Raheem Sterling all started that one. Our subs were Stefan, Diaz, Gundogan, Jesus, Werner, Mbetti, McAtee, Lavia and Wilson Esbrand. Interesting bench, that's for sure. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, the game finished 1-0 to City. The referee was Craig Pawson on VAR. We had Darren England. And this is just a little excerpt from the match report at the time. Uh, I said at the time, a great win for City, deserved. Pawson was quick with the yellow card after just seven minutes for an Alonso foul on Sterling, but the game got off to, let's say, a probing start as City tries to find their way, way through a, a rigid Chelsea formation and Chelsea hopes to hit City on the break. KDB perhaps should have hit the target with a rising effort on 43 minutes. Chelsea's clearest chance of the game came as Stone stumbled and Lukaku, remember him at Chelsea? He elected to pass instead of going on himself and the move ended up with a pass being offside. So we got away with that one. 0 at half time into the second half, 48 minutes. Chelsea had a great chance, but Lukaku can't beat Edison, who makes a great save. 70 minutes, all hell lets loose as KDB swats away the nuisance that is Kante after being played into space by Cancelo and kills one from distance past Kepa. And it was 1 0 to City. And we played out the remaining 10 minutes of the game, apparently just. just looking more likely to, to score rather than a Chelsea equaliser uh, after that as the game came to an end. So it was only 1-0. It wasn't wasn't tentative. You know, it wasn't wasn't a worry, I don't think, at the time. The key stats, we had 11, just 11 shots, six on target. Yes, typical playing Chelsea. is a bit, a bit, a bit boring at the time. They had four shots, one on target. We had 56% possession. Our pass completion percentage was 86%. Theirs was 84 so they weren't far behind.